Frank Townsend Jr. followed in his father's footsteps. Frank himself was this town's doctor for 55 years. He recalls his father's life and times as a family physician in Ocean City. I'm sure you've been told that the, back years ago there was a very little boardwalk. They picked it up and laid it down. But during the course of my father's practice, he uh, found it difficult to drive up and down the sandy streets and park his horse or park his old car uh, when he finally got one. So he'd ride a bike, an Ivor Johnson bicycle. And he'd carry his bag and he was always well dressed. He always wore a dark suit and a vest and a tie, bow tie. And he'd ride up and down the boardwalk with his bag hanging on the handlebars and go to see people at the various hotels. And uh, sometimes he had a baby in the bag and delivered that too, you know, I mean. Uh, uh, <laughs> so he, he really did the whole thing from the seat of a bicycle. Uh, he delivered all the babies in the community. Uh, he, there was no veterinarian here. There was no dentist here. So he had an array of dental forceps and he pulled everyone's teeth without benefit of any uh, needles in their gums. They just sat in a chair and gritted their teeth. My father was a real horse and buggy doctor. He went out in the country here in the countryside and delivered babies and saw all the people that lived there, no matter what their color or religion or whatever they were. And uh, it was interesting that in those days, he first started out with a horse and buggy. And later he became quite affluent. Uh, maybe he had $200 by that time. And he bought a buggy and had a two horse team. And I mean to tell you, that was the latest. That was like having a convertible automobile, you know. And he started going with my mother then in about 1915. And, uh, I guess because of the horse and buggy, she thought he was a pretty good guy. And they were married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> Anna and Dr. Townsend owned the Washington Pharmacy, a popular haunt for locals and tourists alike. Boardwalk souvenirs were imported and sold by the Townsends, from Germany, others from Austria, all made especially for the Washington Pharmacy. Ruby glass souvenirs were extremely popular, as were small knickknacks made in Japan. 